Hey, this is David from the Shepherd School, and today what we're going to do is make a, uh, a chlorine battery out of aluminum and copper and some bleach. And uh, basically, this is just simple electrochemistry. And uh, I'm not going to get into too many details because I'm going to save that for the article on the website. But basically, if you have an ionic solution, an acid, um, sometimes a base, something that creates ions in, in solution, and then you add in two dissimilar metals, it will uh, it'll cause um, electrons to go from one metal to the other, which makes a battery. So this is, is the battery, basically. And all I did is I went to the local Home Depot Lowe's type store and bought a piece of aluminum rod, okay, a quarter inch, and I bought a sheet of, uh, or a, uh, about three foot of copper, bare copper wire, grounding wire. Theoretically, and uh, I haven't done it, but you could use an aluminum can and uh, um, sand off the uh, clear coat on the inside of the can and then use stripped copper house wire, you know, in an emergency. Okay, so then I just took a mason jar lid and uh, drilled some holes in there and these are some gaskets that uh, some of the uh, brew shops sell to put uh, thermometers into um, uh, your your fermentation device if you're having beer they were just a couple bucks a piece right and I just stuck them in there because they're rubber they're going to insulate because we don't want these things to touch okay so all I'm gonna do that's just tap water chlorine in most tap water that might get you a charge but it's not going to get you much of a charge then I'm just going to add some of my pool shock to make my bleach solution and the more bleach the stronger the bleach in the solution the stronger your charge is going to be but it's going to um, cause your your anodes and cathodes to corrode a lot quicker that's got me a good strong bleak smell and I don't think my anodes are gonna last but you know a week or so probably like that now okay so I hooked the multimeter lead positive to the copper, uh, negative to the uh, aluminum. Gets me about a volt of electricity, which a volt of electricity is not a lot. However, if uh, for around 20 bucks I got enough raw material, not counting the mason jar, because every good prepper should have mason jars, but um, to make about 12 of these. Okay, so 12 1 volt cells, if I hook them up in uh, in uh, series, gets me 12 volts. Okay, and 12 volts is definitely usable. And uh, once the uh, anode corrodes, basically all I got to do is, um, you know, pull it out of the solution, um, sand off the corrosion, and uh, I put it back in and if it corrodes too much to be used I just stick another piece of copper in there and, and there we go so it's pretty simple and uh, a little later I bought because you want surface area I bought a big copper pipe and I bought an aluminum pipe or aluminum rod and a piece of PVC and what I'm going to do You sandwich them in like that and make big battery, two foot battery, which shouldn't, according to my calculations, shouldn't give me any more voltage, but it'll give me a lot more amps. And I take 12 of those and, uh, and uh, put them on the wall and I can get, you know, a lot more usable electricity out of it and just periodically dump out the uh, um, solution and uh, do it some more. So anyway, that's all I got. Until next time, you can always catch us online at www.
TNGun.com.